Now the next thing is we we'll try to bring in B-rolls and show you how to put in different type of B-roll from images to videos on top of your footage. So as you are hovering over, as you are experiencing the, as you are playing a given video at some point, you can move in to show something, there's something like this as you've just navigate from the main video into this B-roll to illustrate something and then move back to the video and continue. So to bring in B-rolls, I have classified my B-rolls into different categories. For example, I have I have them arranged as b-rolls here you can just click and you see i have videos i have images over here and when you go back here i have videos uh, that i put for just for reference purpose and as we are moving you can be able to to add them into the timeline so to bring in b-rolls all you need to do is to come to the media bin or the project panel over here and just right click and say import media so you can just navigate to wherever you have them in your device for example mine i have it in this desktop can just come down all the way here so you can see final cut over here so you can just go, go ahead and you can see that my b-rolls i can import them at the same time so by just selecting i can select import selected and it's going to import both the video and the audio so you can see them arranged over here the media are arranged separately so to bring in a media into the timeline at a given location for example i want to put and bring in the media at this point before the starting of this after this taking off this t in the next one, I want to start with the B-roll. I will just drag it and drop it. So I zoom in, I want to drag this image, drag it and drop it on the timeline, just like so. And then I can position it to make sure that I got it right at the right position that I want. For example, I want it to start somewhere here. So I can just select and use my B key to create, to bring in the scissors tool or the, the blade tool and just make a cut here and i can just bring back the selection tool by pressing the letter a and select this and delete and then maybe i want this one also to last until here and i can still do the blade tool cut here and then back to the selection tool and then you can select and delete so i have my b-roll situated around this so once i start up to this and then the b-roll comes in and then it goes out back to the normal uh, video okay so this is how to bring in the first one i can bring in another b-roll if i want for example the image of this guy i can just easily drag and drop it here and then i can just position it you can use the command and plus sign to zoom in and out plus or minus sign to zoom in and out so that you can be able to see clearly what we are dealing with so i can come over here as well and select this point make a cut here and make a cut here as well and then back to my selection tool and then delete both of them so i have my b-rolls around here located okay so next is i can bring in the video as well if i want so let me zoom out here so i can select any video for example i select this video i can just drag it and drop it on the, the timeline and then define the areas that i want it to come in so for example i can see it comes in here I want this point when the girl becomes surprised here at this point. So I just make a cut and I press the letter B, make a cut here and then back to the selection tool and delete this point. So you can see if I'm playing it, it's going to show that surprising point. And then maybe I want it up to this point. Okay, then I want to create another cut. So blade tool and make another cut back to the selection and then delete here. So you can see uh, just like so she went wow and then back to the normal then i want to put the bureau the bureaus as well at this point another video so just select the video and just drag and drop it on the timeline so this is this small girls running okay so they are running 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 uh, up to the end point if you want it to depend on how long you want it i want it at this point to just stop here so I enable the the blade tool I make a cut back to the selection delete this and then I have my b-rolls around here so you can see just running and then back to the main video okay so this is very easy and fantastic and you can make work your work very very easy and nice and you can bring in different impressions to to your video and make it look very very much professional later I will show you how to use transitions to actually make it look superb and fantastic okay so this is how to bring in B-rolls into the timeline and continue with your editings in Final Cut.